Hello everyone, my name is Mr. N Jersey and welcome to my channel. Now in this video we got something a little bit different for you and you're probably wondering what that is on the screen. Well, you guys have asked for it and it's been quite popular recently. People are using this quite a lot in their creations and obviously ending up on top five also. And what we're actually going to be looking at is how you can actually make use of one of the glitches here in Stormworks um, of the wheels to actually go and get free electricity and also actually go and fly here in Stormworks. And a lot of creators have been using this for their airships, whether it's balloons or uh, mobile bases, whatever it is, they've been using this kind of bug in there. Now, obviously I don't condone really using this too much because this is something that more than likely is going to be fixed uh, here in the future of Stormworks. However, as I said, you guys have been asking me for it. I thought I'd go and share it with you so we unwrap the secrets, of course, for those of you that don't know about it or haven't used it. So we're going to be building a vehicle. Uh, I'll show you how to get it all set up and how I can all get it working. Obviously, it will be a very basic, crude example, but um, it will hopefully give you the basics of what you need. So let's jump straight into the workbench. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to start by building the base of this actual flying vehicle. So you can see here, I've just got a very simple base here. Uh, we've also got symmetry mode on. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually start building the things that are actually going to make it rise up into the air and magically float away. Okay, so pretty much as I said, this uses the wheel glitch here in Stormworks. Pretty much what you need is you're going to need some pivots and you're also going to need some suspension wheels. Now, in a nutshell, how this actually goes and works is you can see here if i was to go and build a slightly raised platform and we were to go and add some wheels specifically suspension wheels on it like you can see here what you need to do is you can actually use a pivot so for example i can come underneath it just over here grab pivots and you can literally apply pressure using the pivot up against this tire so you'll see here what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the pivots down I'm then going to bring it out and make sure it's in line with the tire here. And I'm literally just going to build underneath it. So you can see there's now a block directly underneath that tire. And how it works is if we increase this block, it's actually going to push up against the suspension piece and it'll actually lift this creation out up into the air. So we're going to go and illustrate that. I'm going to grab a battery, a keypad, just so I can show you how this works. Uh, we're going to go and get that connected up to our pivots. We're going to get the electricity connected here quickly and I'm going to spawn this in. So now you'll straight away see how that fell. That fell very weirdly. And the same thing goes if we go and stand over here and let's say apply 0.1. You can see that starting to put pressure up against those wheels. But let's go and increase it to maybe 0.2 and start. Look, whoop, whoop, look what happens. It starts going into this magical spin here. OK, so this in theory is what you are using to lift your creation up. Now, of course, we can go into a little bit more detail about this. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to build a complete flying vehicle using this, uh, let's say, glitch slash bug here in Stormix. So what we're going to do is we're going to build all the way out here, make sure that it's perfectly in line, which it is great. Uh, I'm then going to grab some wheels, I'm going to stick the wheels on there and we're going to build the same platform that we have there. So we're going to go one, two, we're going to grab some pivots. Make sure the positive is facing towards the actual tires. So you can see those are. And we're going to build out and we're going to build underneath it. So I've got two wheels in the front, two wheels at the back. I'm also going to get a seat, just a regular old seat. I'm going to stick it down in the middle there. And what we're going to do is we're also going to get a battery. So this way we can actually power everything. Now the battery is only to turn the pivots. You're not actually using batteries to lift up in the air. You're actually just connecting it to the pivots to move the pivots. So you can see here I'm going to connect that up to the pivots and we're also going to go from the seat let's use the up and down of the seat to control the pivots okay so relatively quite simple there so let's go and spawn that in now you can see straight away how long it took that to actually go and climb so we're going to jump in the seat now we're going to use the up and down of our key and have a look at that yeah we are theoretically now going and flying using that to lift ourselves up now, of course, you can go one step further by actually going and adding a gyro on here. That will allow you to obviously balance yourself out. Now, you could create your own little custom gyro using a uh, tilt sensor and a little mic controller, but we're just going to use a regular gyro over here. So I'm just going to go and place that down somewhere on my creation. So you can see I've got one just over there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that that has got actually got some electricity on it. OK, which is perfect. Uh, we're going to have a way to turn that on and off, which is let's use number one, for example. And um, the up and down, you actually want to keep within 
this. So for example, I'm actually going to keep the up and down going through that. However, we still want to add some extra things on. So for example, we want WNS for our pitch. Uh, we want the A and D for our roll. And we also want the left and right for the yaw. So we still want to add those things to the numbers that we've already got. That way we can stabilize ourselves. So let's start off by working on the pitch. Now to do that, we're going to get some ad blocks. Very simple. Literally, let's get two ad blocks there and let's get two ad blocks there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and take the up and down and connect it to each one of these ad blocks. Okay, relatively quite straightforward. So let's go and disconnect it from the pivots. Okay, so we've got up and down going to all the ad blocks. The next thing we want is obviously to go forwards and backwards. So to go forwards, we want a positive number at the back and we want a negative number at the front. To go backwards, we want a negative number at the back and a positive at the front. So we can achieve that by using some invert numbers. Okay, I'm just going to go and put two of them down. I know I'll need one later on, so I'm going to keep it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pitch over here and we're going to give it to the invert number. Okay, that means that now we have a positive invert, a positive pitch, and we also have an inverted pitch. Now, as I said earlier, if we want to go forwards, we want the back to go up and the front to go down. So we're going to give the number from the pitch over to the ad blocks at the back and then from the invert into the front. Okay, so we're literally just inverting the front one. And then from there, we can then go up into the actual pivots. Okay, so that takes care of the actual pitch forwards and backwards. Okay, relatively quite straightforward so far. If you want to test that, you can, so we can go and spawn it in. And you should see that it's probably going to stay quite level now if we go up and down. Okay, so you can see that. Look how it's going and it's keeping itself quite level in the front there. So if we go up a little bit more, you can keep it nice and flat there. Okay, of course, we don't have roll and we don't have your yet. So that's the next thing we're going to do. And we're going to go and add some more ad blocks. Yes, now we could do this in a mic controller, but I'm just doing this purely just for demonstration purposes now for this little video. Okay, so I've just added a whole bunch more ad blocks. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to go from the existing ad blocks we have and we're going to go into the new ones. Okay, so from the existing one into the new one and then from the new one over into the pivots. Okay, that will give us enough space, hopefully, to go and add the yaw and also for us to go and add the roll on. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do the roll. Now, it works very similar to how we did the pitch. Remember the pitch? We took a positive number to the back and we inverted the front one. Well, for roll now, we're going to do the same thing. But instead of going front and back, we're going to do left and right. Okay, so we're going to invert the ones. Let's do invert on the right and we're going to do positive on the left. Okay, so wherever we have the roll, which is over here, we're going to go into the next invert block we have. And we're also going to go positive into, let's say, the left ones. And let's do the inverted into the ones on the right. And let's see if that actually goes and works. Okay, so we've just gone and connected it there. I have disconnected something over here, so I'm just going to actually go and fix that. Uh, so that would have been the up and down, which I disconnected. Perfect. Let's go and spawn that in. Let's see if it actually kept itself level with the roll now. So we're going to go jump in it. We're going to increase our altitude a little bit. Let's do roll left. Yep, that's working. And roll right is also working, which is perfect. Yeah, that is 100%. Now, one thing we can do, because it was reacting quite slow there, uh, is we can actually configure the sensitivity here. So I'm actually going to drop everything down to about 30% plus minus on this gyro. Okay, that should ideally make it a little bit more stable. We could also increase the speed of these, change the speed of them, etc. But I think for now, for testing, it's fine. The last thing we need to do is we actually need a way to go in your. Now, we could add some more tires on here, but there is a simpler way of doing that. And that's simply just to come here and add another pivot. Okay, we're just adding another pivot over there. That way, when we want to yaw, we're going to turn like this. Okay, so we're going to turn and then we can push it forwards or we can push it forwards in that direction. So we can push it up. So we're going to need some more ad blocks. Of course, we're going to need some more ad blocks. We also want to go and just separate this entire body here because obviously we added a new pivot in. So I'm just going to go and separate this entire structure over there like this. That should be fine. And there we go. And we're going to cut it, paste it down. And we're going to go and join it together there. Okay, so that's now its own entity, which will allow us to rotate left and right. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to go and take the yaw and I'm going to go straight over to this pivot, okay, that I just went and connected. Make sure it's got some electricity and I'm going to go and spawn in and just check the direction to make sure the direction is correct. Okay, so for example, when I want to go in your left, this is actually facing the wrong way now. So that's why I went and tested it. Okay, so I'm actually going to go and invert that number. I'm going to grab another inverter, put it over there, and we're going to go from the yaw into the invert and then from the invert into the pivot. Now I could obviously have just deleted that and rotated it and flipped it and put it down again instead of using the invert block. Uh, it's up to you. Yeah, I've just gone with that. It's the easiest thing for me to do right now. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to say, well, you should have just deleted it and moved it. Well, too bad. I've used the invert block. Okay, uh, so we've gone and used the invert block there. Now what we want to do is when we actually put the yaw on, we want this to actually move forwards. Okay, so we want these pieces to go up when we're doing the yaw. So you can do that. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to go and add an ABS. Okay, ABS, what it does is it takes a number and always converts it to positive. Okay, always converts it to positive. So that's great because once we're turning, we can tell it to go and actually move. So we're going to go and take that yaw that we already have and we're going to put it into the ABS. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the ABS and we're going to add it to both of the ones at the back here. Okay, so I'm just going adding it together like so and I'm going to go and put it on the pitch here. So that means as soon as I use the yaw, firstly it's going to turn it left or right and it's going to take that yaw value and actually push it forwards or backwards in the direction that I want it to work in. Let's go and spawn that in and let's have a look and see what this looks like. So to your, literally you can see here, if I want to your left, it goes and does that. See that how it's going and yawing left? Yeah, same as going and yawing right. So oh, just like that and it's pushing the vehicle. Now, ideally it would be better if we had the gyro on, okay? Or if we were moving at speed, the yaw would probably work a little better, but it would need some tweaking. So I would recommend you go and tweak the pivots so that they go and react a little bit quickly. You can see it's having a little bit of hard time keeping up there. You can see how it's going and oscillating. Um, but yeah, in theory, that's your flying vehicle. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I wouldn't count on this working forever. I can kind of see the devs fixing this. Um, I'm not saying they are going to. I'm not saying they're not going to. No comment on that. Um, but yeah, you guys asked for it. You guys wanted to know how it's done. Here it is. Very crude very plain and simple way of doing it. As I said, we could go into more detail. We could create special microcontrollers to make this look even better, uh, to work and make it look a little bit cooler. But this is the quickest and easiest way to get this set up. And it's not costing us absolutely anything. Our battery is 97%. Um, so this is costing us nothing to keep in the air. So yeah, do what you want with it, whether it's build your creations or just have some fun here in Stormworks like we like to do. Uh, do what you want. Hopefully you have enjoyed these videos, uh, especially this one. Obviously, we try and help you guys out, give you the tutorials as you want. Don't forget to obviously hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the videos by doing that. And let me know in the comments, uh, obviously, if you enjoyed this and also what type of other tutorials you'd like on the channel. But you guys asked for this one. I hope you have enjoyed it and found some entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.